would you indulge me uh, because I, I, I want to go back to uh, what occurred 9-11. Uh, and which has some bearing on this. Uh, in, uh, before 9-11, uh, there was an individual by the name of Khalid al-Midar uh, who uh, came to be one of the principal hijackers. He was being tracked by the intelligence agencies uh, in, the, in the Far East. They lost track of him. At the same time, the intelligence agencies had identified a, an al-Qaeda safe house in Yemen. They understood that that uh, Al-Qaeda safe house had a telephone number, but they could not know who was calling into that particular, uh, that particular safe house. We came to find out afterwards that the person who had called into that safe house was al Mithar, who was in the United States in San Diego. If we had had this program in place at the time, we would have been able to identify that particular telephone yes. number in San Diego. I I'm almost out of time. I understand, but I ask indulgence just to finish because it's a critical point as to why we have this program and yes. how important it is. All right. If we had uh, the telephone number from Yemen, we would have matched it up to that telephone number in San Diego, got further legal process, identified Al Midhar. One last point. The 9-11 Commission itself indicated that investigations or interrogations of Al Midhar, once he was identified, uh, could have yielded event evidence of connections to other participants, participants in the 9-11 plot. The simple fact of their detention could have derailed the plan. In any case, the opportunity was not there. Well, if we had had this program, that opportunity would have been there.